So for ourselves, we too ought to put God first. And that does mean putting God first. I get so upset hearing Christians say, Oh, well, you see, I haven't got much time because I have to do this and I have to do that. And, blah, blah, and you know, I, you know if, I, if I can grab 15 minutes here or there or if I can... What? What? Take control of your life. Reorient it. Ground it in God first. He must come first. If that means your life is so busy that you might have to get up an hour earlier in order to spend a decent quality time with God, then so be it. If that means going to bed late in order that you may spend quality time with God because the rest of your day is so busy, then so be it. Nothing, nothing should take precedence over your relationship and the duty and obligations you owe to God, your Heavenly Father, upon whom your very life depends. Put your life in order. Get it straight. Get it the right way round. God is not something you should find time for. Your life means nothing without him. Literally, it means nothing without him. All your busyness, all your loves and cares and other interests, even all that you do for your dependents or anybody else, it all means nothing if your life is not lived first and foremost for him and with him and in him. Because all of what you do in life now will mean nothing when you are dead. Unless it was grounded in, founded in God.